Hi, I'm Alan Andreas and welcome to Alan Ovation. In this ServiceNow Snack episode, I'll be discussing certification maintenance. The goal of the ServiceNow Snack video series is to provide as much information as possible in less than four minutes, hence providing you with a snack. After your snack, at the end of the video, I'll be having my own snack, which is featured from a random country, and I'll let you know my thoughts. So let's get into it. Once you obtain a ServiceNow certification, you also need to maintain it. ServiceNow releases two updates to the platform per year, one in March and another in September. Those releases can bring changes to the platform such as new functionality, updates to existing features, or the deprecation of a product or component of the platform. Due to that level of impact, it's important for certified ServiceNow professionals to be aware of and educated on those adjustments. Delta exams are non-proctored open book exams that consist of about 10 questions. You will have one hour to take the Delta exam and you're only allowed four attempts to pass it. The content covered is related to the release notes for the focus area of that specific certification. Each mainline certification, for example, system administrator, application developer, and implementation specialist certifications all have their own Delta exam. The Delta exam process begins after the exam blackout window is closed. The blackout window is when ServiceNow halts the ability for anyone to take a certification exam and updates them with the latest version. The blackout window normally lasts for 15 days. Specific dates are announced on the ServiceNow Web Assessor website and are also emailed to all certified individuals so that they're aware. The Delta exams are taken on the Now Learning website, and if you've ever taken a micro certification assessment on Now Learning, you'll be very familiar with the concept and layout. Once you log into Now Learning during the Delta exam period, you'll be alerted that your certifications are at risk. Links will be provided for each certification you have that will take you directly to its respective Delta exam. It's important to note that you don't have forever to take these Delta exams. You'll have 90 days to pass all Delta exams. If you fail a given Delta four times, or if you don't pass it prior to that 90 day deadline, that respective certification will become expired and you'll no longer be certified. You'll have to take and pass the mainline exam all over again if you want to become recertified. If you attempt a Delta exam and fail it, you must wait 24 hours before you can try again, so it's not recommended to wait until the last minute to complete your Delta exams. Every fall, in addition to the Delta exam process for anyone who has held at least one mainline certification for a period of one year or longer, you must pay the maintenance fee. The annual maintenance fee unlocks all Delta exams, no matter how many you need to take. If you'd like to learn more about the maintenance fee and Delta exam process, I invite you to check out my article on the ServiceNow Community Forums that's been viewed over 50,000 times and has over 150 helpful ratings. I'll include a link to it in the description below. I hope you have enjoyed your snack. Now it's time for mine. Today's snack is a product of Korea and features the hipster honey butter cinnamon flavored almonds. And the back here. Now, as I've mentioned in the other snack video that I did, I normally don't try anything new. So this is a bit outside of my comfort zone, but in the spirit of you learning something new, I'll try to learn something new with a new snack as well. So let's give it a shot here and see. A little bit tough to open. So again, these are honey butter cinnamon flavored almonds, and there is a unique looking character on the package. It makes me feel comforting. Maybe these will these will be good. Who knows? Oh, okay. So to explain here, oh yeah, okay. There's a many different stages going on here. So it first hit me. You're thinking almonds, they're gonna be a bit more crunchy. You probably couldn't even hear much of the crunching. They're actually kind of soft. I wonder if I could even snap it in half here. Whoops, but yes, 
So I can, I'm so strong, I can break this almond in half. But anyway, that's how it is. It's it's soft, it's baked, it's kind of a, a bit of a goo inside there, a little bit of a surprise, you know. But it is not too bad. It hits you with an initial flavor, and then as you chew it and through the rest of the process, you know, there's a bit of an aftertaste there, but it's really not bad. You know what's funny? It actually tastes almost identical to the apple pie from Greece that I had in the last episode. Funny, funny enough, it literally almost tastes just like that. So anyway, folks, that's it. Again, my name is Alan Andreas, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy ServiceNow content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you, and take care.